Oh, no problem at all. Hit the subscription button below and then come on in. Hi everyone, DFG here with Gideon's Flight. Hey guys, um, two things today. And as I always tell you, I promise to be short and to the punt. All right. Um, the first thing, uh, again, and I, I've, I've and I and I say again because I've heard I've talked about this before, and um, it's it's in relationship to obesity. You know, I, I heard again on a, a news program, a health news program earlier today, and they in that program the conversation or the medical you know uh, scientists were simply they were stating that obesity is a direct connection to cancer and you know it's interesting and I bring that up because you know some of you people and I you know and some of you people are very very some of my listening audience who I respect and appreciate by the way are very very conscientious, conscientious about taking care of yourselves you understand the importance of exercise you understand the importance of drinking water you understand the importance of eating you know vegetables and eating the right kind of food so for that group you know kudos to you and hopefully you know you you are trying to inspire and influence someone else you know to, to follow your behavior but to many of the people who are listening you know many of you really don't have exercise programs so you see exercise program as this labor of love. In other words, I got to go and I got to be sweating and I got to be lifting weights and I don't have time for it. And my friend, working out has nothing to do with got to, got to, got to. It has everything to do with I need to and I should. And because I need to and, and I should, then I want to. Because the thing about being physically fit, all the benefits go to you. That work that you put in, you pay yourself with that work. That effort you put in, you pay yourself for that effort. You know what I'm saying? That commitment that you make, you pay yourself for that commitment. Nobody else but you. So you have to change the way you're thinking before you can change the way you act. And we all know that. And I'm saying to you guys that, especially those of you who are struggling with weight issues, because all obesity is not somebody that's 400 pounds or 300 pounds overweight or 200 pounds overweight. 50 pounds overweight, 60 pounds overweight is, is a, is, can be considered a, obesity. You got to ask yourself the question, is your heart, that little thing beating in your chest, you, do, if, if, if your natural weight should be at one weight, that heart that keeps that one weight functional at its full capacity, if that thing has got to carry 50 extra pounds around with it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you don't think that's going to damage that heart? You don't think at some point that heart is going to tire itself out? And and then as we go, and I just use 50 pounds overweight. When you start talking about 100, because you can be 70, 50, 70 pounds overweight and it doesn't really show. I mean, you probably see it, but most people say, well, you're not really obese. You're just a little, a little heavy. No, my friend, you got to look at that saying, uh-uh, I can't go for that, especially when I know I can have some serious health repercussions because of that. And I mean serious. Cancer is nothing to be played with, guys. Y'all know that already. So, you know, you have to go back and, and, and convince yourself that working out is a good return on investment behavior. You know, eating right, getting the proper amount of water in your body, Sleeping, getting the proper amount of rest. Now, people, I heard somebody say, "Well, you know, you know, um, I'm going to work hard, you know, and I can rest when I die." You follow me? I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to get my work in. I'm going to do everything I got to do right now because I'm going to rest when I'm when I can rest when I die. Well, fine. All that hard work you put it in, and you rest in, you can rest when you die. I don't disagree with that. You know, and one of your relatives, one of your, uh, one of the people who are in your line of inheritance will enjoy that. So while you're dead, because your mindset is I can sleep when I die, fine, because you'll die soon enough and somebody else will spend that money that somehow was so important to you that you, did, that you didn't take good care of yourself. No disrespect, not trying to tell you what to do, but just having a conversation here, okay, based off of information that I'm bringing to your attention that can help you with a quality of life. 
because not only will obesity lead to can lead to cancer, it could also lead to diabetes issues where you start to get body parts cut off. It can lead to other kind of diseases like uh, glaucoma. Where you can become blind through diabetes, of course. You know uh, what else uh, it can do to you? I'm sure you, you know liver issues. You know uh, I'm sure you know you don't want to be in a situation that you're you know, on a dialysis machine or something like that because you didn't take care of your, your body, you didn't eat right, you didn't rest right, you know, your, 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 your behaviors were not consistent with healthy lifestyle. And so that said, to close up this particular thing that I'm talking about here around obesity and the relationship to cancer is fast foods, you know, we just got to figure out how not to eat that stuff. You know, one of my younger brothers today was showing me he had went to Wendy's and he had purchased some fast food from, from Wendy's, which he shouldn't be doing, but he cooks a lot of food for himself and his family. So most of his food is, you know, freshly prepared. I give him credit for that. But he was showing, you know, he was at work and he wanted something quick. And it was Wendy's and he looked in the bag and they had packages of ketchup and stuff inside the bag with the fries. Fries like they had been, like there were two day old fries, but the ketchup and stuff inside the bag had ketchup all on the outside of the little package catch up all on the outside like like it had fallen in the trash can and it had gotten out of the trash can and stuck it in the bag. So you don't know what you're getting in these restaurants today, guys. And personally, you know, return on investment, I would if I'm hungry, that hungry, I'll just hold out, you know what I'm saying, until I get home and then I'll find me something to eat. You find me? I'll be, you know, so stay away from the fast foods, what I'm saying to you. And if you can't, please, you know, try not to put that in your children and, you know, miles. All it's going to do is cause them to be obese. And you who have children who are obese and you know, and stop that little, he's just cute. He's got a little extra weight. She just, she's pretty. She just got puppy. You need to cut that out. It may be cute now, but it's not going to be cute later on. You follow me? When you're maybe gone and they're dealing with it at 40, 50 years old because you, you know, did not have the discipline and structure for them and, and help them to deal with their eating habits, you know what I'm saying, health habits at an early enough stage in life so now they're not dealing with these things when they're 30, 40, 50, you know, years old. Not many overweight fat guys, or fat women for that matter, okay? Don't mean to call you fat, a beast. All right, um, I had a second thing I was going to talk about, but you know what? I'll save that, you know, to the next uh, video. Uh, I think this is enough information uh, for you. And you say, at the end of the day, you're saying, okay, Dale, what, what are you, what, at the end of the day, Dale, what's the core message? Love yourself enough to treat yourself healthy. I think that's it there, right? Love yourself enough, maybe better said, love yourself enough to be healthy. In the end, guys, I'm telling you, you'll, you'll, you'll be glad you did. And for those of you who have people who, children, family members, people that you can influence, you know, they'll be glad you did, you know, uh, as well. Okay? That's it, guys. You know, DFG, Gideon's Flight. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye now.